A scam alert to tell you about tonight. New scams that have popped up on social media. Diane Lee has more. Matthew Bird is getting a degree in software development, so when a friend needed his tech help, he had good advice. She had been trying to talk to Papa John's about um, getting an order issue resolved. I think they had billed her twice. And so she went on Facebook and um, started talking to them and telling them her details. And, and then she got a little suspicious, so um, she sent me screenshots of it. And I said, yeah, this is not the real thing. Hackers impersonating companies, nothing new. But now they're searching social media for keywords in your posts, responding as if they're with the company. It's already happened to people tweeting tech questions about PayPal. To stay safe, verify that the page is real. You can do that in a number of ways. For major businesses, they're going to have a check mark. Also, look for the number of followers and the number of tweets. Then there's the latest clickbait scams. Take this newsfeed post that claims Will Smith's son committed suicide. The shocking article lures many to click and then sends out posts to your friends to spread faster. I clicked it. I thought it would be like an article, but then it was like, you know, can we have permission? So I was like, no, that's probably why everybody's clicking it and it's making uh, statuses for them. Also, watch out for the tiny house contest. Clicking like to win is only a way for the site to gain popularity before it changes into something different. They have gain that trust illegitimately and then change the page to something completely different and so it's just a, it's a cycle that's it's not going to end